Hello friends, today's story is The Very Clumsy Click Beetle by Eric Carl. Let's get started friends. The Very Clumsy Click Beetle. One fine morning, a young click beetle decided to go for a walk. At noon, it climbed up and down a flower. In the afternoon, it rummaged through a pile of pebbles. In the evening, it crawled among the tall blades of grass. And when it turned night, the young click beetle crept up a tree. After a while, it got tired and fell to the ground. It landed on its back. The young click beetle tried very hard to turn over onto his feet, but it couldn't. Help, it cried. All along, a wise old click beetle had been watching the young click beetle. Tomorrow morning, I will teach you how to click and flip through the air and land on your feet, said the wise old click beetle. In the meantime, you may as well go to sleep. Good night. The next morning, the wise old click beetle said, look at me, this is how it's done. First, it turned onto his back and then with a loud click, and it flipped through the air and landed on his feet. Now you try, said the old wise beetle. Thank you, that looks easy, replied the young click beetle. Just then an earthworm stuck his head up out the ground. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a turtle ambled by. Better luck next time, said the turtle. Keep trying. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud, it flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a snail slithered by. Don't worry, said the snail, you'll get there. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a mouse scurried by. You need a little more practice, said the mouse. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but it landed on his back. Just then, oh, what was this? The young click beetle had never seen anything so big. It could not move. It was scared. Quick, click, flip, cried the wise old click beetle who was watching. And the young click beetle clicked and flipped through the air. But this time it did it three graceful somersaults and... Landed on his feet. Yay. Look at you, shouted the wise old click beetle. You have done it. The end. What an awesome, awesome, awesome story. I just always love reading Eric Carl books. Hey guys, but until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading, friends. Hello friends, today's story is Eric Carl Friends. Let's get started friends.
Once there were two friends who were always together, but one day the boy was all alone. His friend was gone. For Bobby, Eric, Carl, friends. Is that a bouquet? It's beautiful. Once there were two friends who were always together. Together they played and ran and danced and told each other secrets. But one day the boy was all alone. His friend was gone. She had moved far away. I miss her, he said. Wherever she is, I must find her. Then he took a deep breath, <gasps> counted to 10, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jumped into the swift river. The water was cold. Brrr. The river was wide, so it took a long time to swim across it. When he got to the other side, it was already dark. The stars washed over him as he fell asleep. <sighs> The next morning, he saw a tall mountain ahead. He started up one side of it. The path was steep. It was hard work. Finally, he got to the top and then he slid right down the other side. Plonk. The boy landed in a broad meadow. It was a hot day. The grass was dewy, damp, and cooled. He strolled through it. Ah. Then all of a sudden, it began to rain. Splash, splash. He had to dash through the falling drops. After a while, the boy felt tired. He fell asleep and dreamed that he was floating on a cloud. Hmm. He woke up deep in a forest. Dark shadows danced around him. Yink! He rushed out of the woods into a flower garden. He gathered a bouquet and there was his friend. I have found you, he shouted. I knew you would come, she said. Together they played and ran and danced and told each other secrets and got married. Here I am with a friend in Syracuse, New York. I was three years old and so was she. My German mother took this picture. She wrote Junie, June 1932 in the corner. When I was six, I moved far away. We never saw each other again. I often think about my long ago friend and I wonder what happened to her. Hmm. Eric Carl and his wife Barbara, Bobby, had been married for quite a long time. This happy fact was one of the primary inspirations for this innovative book. Born in the United States, Eric Carl was taken as a six-year-old child by his parents back to their native country, Germany. Later, he studied at the Academie der Berührung Kuzunki Academy of Applied Arts in Suttergart and returned to New York in his early 20s as a graphic designer and artist. His many picture books are now known and loved by children around the world. In 2002, he and his wife opened the Eric Carl Museum of Picture Book Art in Amherst, Massachusetts, where the works of distinguished picture book artists nationally and internationally acclaimed are exhibited in three spacious galleries. The 
and what an awesome 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 story don't we just love eric carl but until next time friends don't forget to like and subscribe happy reading Hello friends, today's book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar Eats Breakfast, a counting book. Let's get started. The Very Hungry Caterpillar Eats Breakfast, a counting book. Mmm, those pancakes look so yummy. It's time for breakfast. What does the very hungry caterpillar eat in the morning? How about one cup of creamy yogurt? Yes, please. One. Some mornings, he eats his way through two bowls of yummy cereal. What kind of cereal do you like? Hmm, my favorite cereal is Cheerios. Yummy. When he wants something sweet, he nibbles through three pastries. What's your favorite sweet morning treat? Mmm, I see a scone, a muffin, and a croissant. Mmm. Does he eat bagels for breakfast? Yes, in fact, he tries four. Two with C's, one that's sweet, and one that's topped with everything. Can you guess his favorite? Is it poppy seed, sesame, cinnamon raisin, or an everything bagel? Wait, are those onions for breakfast? He snacks on five. Anything can be breakfast when you're the very hungry caterpillar. Let's count the onions. One, two, three, four, five. Five onions. How about some eggs? He tries them six different ways, enjoying every bite. How do you eat your eggs? Fried, omelet, hard boiled, egg in a hold, scramble, frita. Some morning he's so hungry that he crunches through seven pieces of toast all with different toppings what do you put on your toast avocado peanut butter jam chocolate hazelnut spread mmm butter cream cheese and tomatoes or cheese let's count the pieces of toast one two three four five six seven seven pieces of toast Mmm, something smells good. Eight foods cooked on a hot skillet. Some are sweet, some are salty, but they're all delicious. Which one would you like to try? Pancakes, baked beans on toast, biscuit, bacon, sausage, hash browns, French toast, mmm, waffles. Let's count. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Nine juicy fruits make a colorful breakfast. He eats through each one. Yum. Pear, orange, strawberry, pineapple, banana, blueberry, grapefruit, cherry, kiwi. Let's count the juicy fruits. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Together, the very hungry caterpillar and some friends eat 10 of his favorite foods. Now that they're ready to start the day, what would you like for breakfast? Mmm, everything looks so yummy and delicious. I think I would like the everything bagel. That one looks really, really tasty. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The end. What an awesome story. Until next time, friends. Hello, friends. Today's story comes from the world of Eric Carl, and the title is 
Happy Halloween from the Very Busy Spider. And this is a lift the flap book. Oh, how we love those. Let's get started, friends. On Halloween night, the very busy spider is looking for her friends. Who does she see flying high in the sky with the stars and the clouds having a very good time? Who could it be? A hooting owl. does she see hanging upside down in a tree who flies throughout the night as fast as can be who is it a friendly bat who does she see smiling up at the moon hoping to join his friends very soon. Who is it? A kind fox. Who does she see making a Halloween feast of a crunchy carved pumpkin? A sweet orange treat. Who is it? The very hungry caterpillar. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Caterpillar. The very busy spider has found all of her friends and now it's time for some spooky fun before the night ends. Trick or treat. The end. What an awesome, awesome, awesome story. Until next time, friends. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy Halloween, everyone. Hello, friend. Today's story is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Let's get started. For my sister Krista, the very hungry caterpillar by Eric Carl. In light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out an egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. How many pears? One, two. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. How many plums do we see? One, two, three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. How many strawberries? One, two, three, four. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. How many oranges? One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Hmm, I think he ate too much food. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, 
pushed his way out and he was a beautiful butterfly. Oh, he's so beautiful. The end. What an awesome, awesome story. Until next time, friends.